Welcome to this video, my name is Rav and I help people empower themselves and in today's video I wanted to talk about something that I'm very much passionate about and what we're talking about today is how to develop an unshakable confidence in your life. Let's begin. When I say unshakable confidence, I actually mean it. I'm not talking about that kind of confidence that might come from certain situation or environment or any even that you might be associated with but it is that confidence that is coming from within you whenever I think of somebody very much confident the image of guys like Brad Pitt or George Clooney comes to my mind and they have this kind of resonance in their personality and not just that they have this kind of glow on their eyes especially if you see them doing an interview this becomes so much self-evident you know because they're always playful they're always joking around and they're just trying to lift up the vibe of not just themselves but the people around them and this is the kind of confidence that I want to talk about and along the way what I realized was in my own journey I had all these tips and tricks that I was able to use in certain situations but within myself I still wasn't feeling good and I just lacked that kind of charm in my personality while going out so I had to really dig deep down after learning techniques and reading books like How to Win Friends and Influence People. Those books were super helpful by the way. But after that I had to really start working on my own personality and also do some inner work to get to that point. And that's what I really want to talk about in this video. Now if you're a guy who's been into the dating scene, you probably are already familiar with these two terms, inner game and outer game because it's very much used in the dating scene, right? Why I really wanted to use this on this video is because a lot of people just try to focus on the techniques and they completely forget that confidence is coming from deep within you. That's why it's very essential to have these two concepts integrated so when you go out there, you seem like a well-rounded human being. Now let's start with the outer game because I think it's gonna be easier if I just give you some tips before we get to the inner game part because inner game part is always usually very deep but when it comes to outer game if you can apply these three tips that I have for you you are gonna definitely come across as very confident so the first thing that I have is be more playful if you are more playful you're already gonna be liked by a lot of people around you it's not only about joking or doing some comedic acts it's just about being more light-hearted and you know, not taking things seriously as you go. The second point that I have for you is be more sincere. Now, just being playful isn't gonna work, especially if you're not a very upbeat person and if you're just trying to act very upbeat and it's not coming out as a very congruent thing, it's not gonna probably look good. That's why it's very necessary for you to seem sincere too and try to be authentic as you are and don't try to act like somebody else because that's only gonna make you less attractive and confident in other people's eyes. Now the third point that I have on the outer game for you is be more curious and try to approach every situation and every individual with more curiosity. Just don't do it before you have been playful or sincere though because it might just backfire. Because what usually happens is people go out and start asking a lot of questions but it is just gonna make you seem very needy and desperate and people are probably not gonna like you very much you know so it is very essential for you to be more playful and then curious or be more sincere than curious then it's gonna work that way because by the time you are trying to act curious about the other person you have already gained some respect and trust from the people that you're trying to interact with also the key to have great social interactions and become more confident is just to have more and more interactions with other people. It's gonna be more like social muscle and you're building your social muscle up. For me personally, if I have to go out to a party and suppose that I've just ordered a Uber to get there, I usually start chatting up and be very friendly with the Uber driver before I even get to the party because it's not just gonna make me feel good but it's already gonna give me some kind of boost in my self-esteem before I get to the party and like I said it's a muscle you know even I had to learn how to grow this muscle now let's go to the deeper part and you don't even have to call it inner game if you don't like you know because it's not like a game you're not like playing with yourself it's more like accepting who you are because a lot of people when they go out there's so much anxious one of the reasons is they're, they're just not able to accept who they are 
because there is this image or a projection of who they want to be but when they go out they just lack this kind of confidence in their own body and I know it is very essential for us to aim to become better persons because we are all like personal development junkies especially if you're tuning into this channel too right but what I mean is instead of just trying to go and gather more tips and techniques on how to do this how to do that what you can just sit down and do to become more confident is accept yourself more you know once you start accepting yourself everything is gonna come more naturally even these skills they'll start coming more naturally to you once you start accepting yourself for me too for the longest time I used to think that I was very bad with small talks and I was because I never was a very interactive kid in my childhood and I didn't have much friends to play with you know so naturally I was a very introverted kind of person and I didn't know how to make small talks while going out and it didn't change for me until I actually sat down to accept this characteristic of myself and you could even write it down what are the things that you don't like about yourself because most probably those things are haunting you in the back of your mind and the subconscious mind is just projecting a lot of these things onto other people too and it's gonna be hard for you to interact in social situations but after I accepted this fact that I wasn't really good at small talks what started to happen was things started to change more naturally and in fact I would often joke about not being able to make small talk as an ex excuse to start talking with other people it would just make the situation even more lighthearted and after that people would sense my sincerity and it would be easier for us to get into you know deep and meaningful conversations what's going to ha start to happen is you start developing these deep feelings of worthiness you know wherever you go you, you don't even care about what people think after that and a lot of people are just stuck on their heads because they're afraid of how other people perceive of them or how other people think of them and this is a really game killer you know so we don't want that to happen to you so it's very essential for you to look into self-acceptance and I'm gonna make a detailed video on this on the future for sure so stay tuned for that too to sum it all up we have outer game and we have inner game the outer game is basically applying these three things that we talked about be more playful be sincere and then be curious then we talked about having a good inner game when you accept yourself you are gonna start feeling good naturally and that's gonna reflect out there that we see in Brad Pitt or George Clooney how they're very much comfortable on their own skin that's what I think it is with that being said guys let's end this video right here I know I could go on and on about this topic but let's leave some for some future videos so I can share more stuff with you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and we'll see you soon again Goodbye and namaste.